Animal Farm is a novella by George Orwell, published in 1945. According to Orwell, the fable reflects events leading up to the Russian Revolution of 1917 and then on into the Stalinist era of the Soviet Union. Time magazine chose the book as one of the 100 best English language novels and it's included in the Great Books of the Western World selection. On Manor Farm, after a drunk Mr. Jones, the owner of the farm, has shut the animals away and gone to sleep. The animals gather in the barn to hear a respected boar named Old Major speak. Old Major talks about his dream of a world without men, but ruled instead by animals. He shows them that animals only suffer because of man. Mr. Jones makes them work too hard and then steals the products of their labor. It gets even worse, since Mr. Jones doesn't even value their lives and will slaughter them once they have no further purpose for him. He continues by saying that their lives would be so much better if they could overthrow man and find their freedom. He also says that if they ever overthrow man, they should make sure not to make the same mistake like the humans, and remember to treat all animals as equals. Three days later, the old major dies and the animals begin to make plans to gain their freedom. Two pigs lead the way, the smartest animals on the farm. They're called Snowball and Napoleon and they are helped by Squealer, another pig, who can be very persuasive. They decide to turn the speech old major gave into a philosophy, called animalism. They hold meetings every two weeks, where they teach about animalism, though a raven called Moses often distracts the other animals with stories of a place called Sugar Candy Mountain where animals go to die. When Mr. Jones forgets to feed the animals one day, then attacks them when they try to take the food themselves, this sparks the animals to take charge and drive Mr. Jones and his men off the farm. When the humans are gone, they name the farm Animal Farm. The pigs paint their seven commandments of animalism on the barn, which come from the speech of Old Major. 1. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. 2. Whatever goes upon four legs, or has wings, is a friend. 3. No animal shall wear clothes. 4. No animal shall sleep in a bed. 5. No animal shall drink alcohol. 6. No animal shall kill any other animal. 7. All animals are equal. The animals really want to prove to themselves that they can do it, so they finish the harvest even quicker than the humans did. All the animals have a solid belief and so work very hard for the farm. But, there are some signs that not all animals are the same after all. The pigs, the smartest animals there, quickly become the permanent leaders of the farm. They supervise, instead of doing the work, but they start claiming extra rations of milk and apples for themselves. Luckily Squealer has a logical explanation, since Mr. Jones might return if the pigs are not given what they need to run the farm successfully. In fact, Mr. Jones does return to claim his farm back one day. But Snowball has been learning military tactics and leads the animals to victory in what is later called the Battle of Cowshed. The pigs remain as leaders, although the other animals still get to vote for or against the decisions submitted by the pigs during their meetings. Snowball and Napoleon disagree about most things. Snowball can give a great speech, whilst Napoleon is better at getting support behind the scenes. Snowball tries to get everybody to learn how to read, whilst Napoleon focuses on the youth, taking nine puppies to his loft to be educated by him. The great argument is about a windmill. Snowball says it could generate electricity and this could heat their stalls and make the workload lighter. Napoleon disagrees and says the animals will starve if they neglect their jobs at the farm and focus on the windmill instead. When a vote is called and Snowball gives a great speech, it seems the animals are convinced of the plan for the windmill. Just before the vote, Napoleon gives a signal and nine angry dogs, the puppies of before, attack Snowball and chase him away from the farm. Napoleon speaks to the remaining animals and says that weekly meetings will be stopped. 
the decisions for the farm will from now on be taken by a group of pigs and he will preside. He also says that the construction of the windmill will start soon. Squealer explains that the idea for the windmill was his idea all along, Snowball just stole it. After Napoleon is put in charge, the quality of life goes down though. Building the windmill is such hard work, and the animals are given smaller and smaller rations. When Napoleon tells them he will start trading with neighboring human farms, the animals dislike the idea, but Squealer convinces them that there was never an actual rule against trade. The pigs move to the house and rewrite the commandment to say, no animals shall sleep in a bed with sheets. They then convince the other animals it always said that. The pigs tell stories about Snowball, that he was a criminal working to undermine the animals. When something bad happens, Snowball is to be said to have a hand in this and when the half-constructed windmill is destroyed by the wind, Napoleon also blames Snowball for this. The animals restart building the windmill, now nearly starving. The hens get mad when Napoleon tries to sell their eggs, but they can't resist long. In spring, Napoleon has a meeting where several animals confess to crimes, to which Napoleon orders the execution by his dogs. When the animals go back to check the commandment against killing animals it reads, No animal shall kill any other animals without cause. Napoleon tries to hide the failure of the farm to the neighboring humans and negotiates a deal to sell timber to either Mr. Frederick or Mr. Pilkington. After using them both to drive up the price he finally sells to Mr. Frederick. He then finds out that Mr. Frederick paid him with fake money. The next morning, Mr. Frederick and his men attack the farm and blow up the windmill. Shortly afterwards, the pigs discover whiskey in the farmhouse, and when they check the commandments it says no animal shall drink alcohol to excess. As the animals start work on the windmill for the third time, the hardest working animal there is Boxer, a horse. Though Boxer is close to retiring, he works as hard as he can every day. Meanwhile the preferential treatment of the pigs becomes more and more evident. As piglets are discouraged from playing with other animals and a rule that when other animals meet a pig, they must step aside. Though the animals are tired and hungry, Squealer keeps saying the farm is more successful than ever. The animals can't clearly remember what their life was like with Mr. Jones, so they can't argue with the pigs. One day, Boxer faints while working on the windmill. The pigs say they will take Boxer to an animal hospital, but Benjamin, a donkey, sees the van taking Boxer away is labeled horse slaughterer and glue boiler. The animals run after the van, but can't free Boxer. Three days later, the pigs say Boxer died at the hospital. They dispel the story of the van explaining that the veterinarian had just bought it and hadn't had time to repaint it. Over the years, many of the animals grow old and die. Only a few remember the days with Mr. Jones. Though their lives are hard, they're proud in running the farm themselves. The animals are shocked one day to see that the pigs have learned to walk on two legs. When they return to the barn, some of the older animals see that the wall where the commandments were, now just reads all animals are equal but some animals are more equal than others. The pigs continue to walk on two legs and start wearing human clothes they find in the house. A week later, Napoleon invites several humans, including Mr. Pilkington, to visit the farm. The men get a tour of the farm and say that Napoleon should be proud of making the animals work so hard for so little food. In the evening, the animals see the pigs playing cards with the men. Napoleon says to the men that he will change the name of the farm back to its correct and original name, Manor Farm. As the animals look on, they suddenly realize that they can no longer tell the difference between the men and the pigs. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.